this is box elder. Box elder. And that's a it's a maple with a compound leaf. It's also known. Well, I went through the little ash exercise. It's also known as ash leaf maple. Makes sense, right? Not well known for that. But if you were up in if you were learning this in Canada, they would all call it Manitoba. That's what they know it as. There's a lot of them. In they're in Ontario. They're, they're, that's a very big range. But they call it that. That's, again, common names, a lot of different things. So, that brings up a dilemma. Next week, opposite, yes, compound leaf, yes. Hmm. Is it ash or is it box elder? So you need an additional thing to answer it. You could use a number of things. I think one, you could use, it has a very green twig. As we start getting cold weather, some of the twigs, about, I'm gonna get, make, do an educated guess, about 30%, more, more so in the sunlight, when they're sunlit, will turn purple. Very pokey maroon, literally in color, the twigs were. See how the petiole's kind of getting purple there? Maybe that twig's going to be a purple one. They don't all. Some of them stay green all winter. So you could have an opposite green twig, box elder. So you could use that. Here's something that they use in the winter and they just really love it. Now when the leaves come off, right, we know that they form a leaf scar. Well, when the leaves come off of box elder, the <coughs> leaf scars touch literally touch on the side and they form a V or a point. Notice the the buds have white in them. You're not going to have white buds for many things. Now in the winter they'll get purple too but they'll still be white on them. There's, so there's white on the buds. They won't be solid white but there will be white in the buds. The leaflets are good. They will have a compound leaf of three or five. A lot more threes than fives. Now this one's not, this one happens to have a lot of fives. But threes or fives. And the leaflets, highly irregular. Meaning one might have a little lobe, one might have none. One's got teeth, one hardly has any teeth. We got some big teeth there, hardly any teeth on that one. Very irregular lobes. Ash leaflets are all one like another. They're all very, very uniform. And you'll often even get a leaf where one of them, I'm looking for one, here, right here. A leaflet will actually look like a maple leaf, because it is after all, right? See that one right there? In fact, you might think, this is a maple? Check this out. Okay, so here's a compound leaf. But if I just do this, what does that look like? A maple leaf. Mm -hmm. It's just a maple <coughs> leaf that gets so highly divided that it divides. <laughs> okay? And so, like this one, they hardly look like they split. That really looks like a maple leaf right there. No but then they just split up totally into leaflets. So you'll have very irregular leaflets. You might also see the fruit. Here's some fruit hanging up there. They are a winged Samara. They hang in long clusters and the pairs, the two, they're always in a pair. They hang in a very sharp V. You're gonna get another maple today and hang, oh, this one right here. They hang out like a mustache. These are a very sharp V. And they come out in the fall and they persist through the winter. How long depends on how hard the winter is. A lot of ice, a lot of snow, and wind takes them down. But they're, when we <coughs> teach in the winter, there's still some hanging up there. Now, fruit, they'll let you down. And then particularly this tree, and there's, you're going to have others like that, like this. This tree has separate male and female trees. Okay? So, Right off the bat, only 50% are going to have fruit at best. And then when the, the females vary from year to year, 
any given year, you know, there might only be 25, 30% have fruit because you might be looking at a male tree. So fruit isn't always a good thing, but if it is hanging there, well, that helps you say box elder. Form helps say box elder. It is a very, typically a very unkept, uh, not such a good looking tree. A lot of sucker sprouts shooting up, gets dead limbs with more shoots coming up off of it. So it's a kind of a untidy, messy little tree. Super, super common native. 